jazz that gets you dancing. Diego Pinera incorporates elements of Latin American music to create his own eclectic style. Latin American rhythms meet European avant-garde sounds. It's certainly music to dance to, despite the perhaps unusual 9-4 rhythm. This is Diego Piñera's interpretation of the candombe, a Uruguayan style of drumming and dance whose roots go back to Africa and whose spirit reflects the suffering and nostalgia of slaves forced to go to South America. A drum called the chico is used in candombe. It always shifts the beat. There is no downbeat. There's a one and a... Jazz is an African music, not based on one and, but on four and. As Wayne Shorter said, jazz is on the offbeat, it's not rock and roll. No, jazz isn't rock and roll. Just as Berlin in the cold is not like the warm and balmy city of Montevideo where he grew up. Maybe this is why his new album, Despertando, which means awakening, has sounds that seem to express his homesickness. It's like awakening from a dream. Dreams of the past when I was in Uruguay, but without interrupting my process. A process in which he absorbs everything that speaks to him musically and transforms it into his own style. He plays a Caribbean steel drum on the title track of his new album. It would be harder to get further away from Berlin in terms of music and ideas. Piñera's music used to be more influenced by North American sounds. Last year, his album My Picture won the Echo Instrumentalist Award for drums and percussion. Piñera was a wunderkind. He started playing at the age of three and had his first lesson aged four. When he was seven, he started playing with the drumming virtuoso Osvaldo Fatoruso, who put him straight to the test. I played with him and he swore at me for the whole lesson. But he told me to come back the next week. That probably meant something like great in his old-fashioned way. I was with him till I was 17, 10 years. He went on to play and study in Havana, Seattle, Boston and then Leipzig and Berlin. He recorded his new album in Berlin's Hansa Studios. One of the tracks is a cover of Duke Ellington's Caravan. When he isn't in the studio or on tour, he rehearses. And anyway, he can't live without drumming. I've been 
I'm very ambitious. I was on holiday for a week in Italy, and we rented a room so I could rehearse. That's really freaky. It might be freaky, but the results are pretty impressive. Thank you.